Y'all see the shit, you know what I'm saying? Why y'all keep bringing up that little copy? Oh! Nigga, he's saying Tony is a complete fucking copy. Then Tony fucking said, okay, say less. Idols become rival. Oh, shit! What the fuck is going on? I'ma jump straight into this shit. What the fuck going on? <laughs> hey man, y'all let me know in the comments, bro. What the fuck is going on with Tony Lawyer and JD, man? Hey, I told y'all this is a messy video, bro. We gotta we gotta talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I'm in a community where I need to talk about it, and this is a reaction channel, so I gotta do a reaction to this shit. You feel me? So hey, we're gonna do a reaction to my boy. Hey, and shout out to my boy, man. I saw this nigga grind before this shit even started, and before he even started doing this shit, it's crazy how the fast he's growing, but the content he doing, you know what I'm saying, is good ass content on YouTube. So do y'all go support my nigga uh, Yayo TV, bro? He is like the world star of this corridor shit. He get to the bottom of this shit. I guess he got a whole fucking squad of niggas sending them all the messiest shit to post. He like the shade room, you know what I'm saying? For like the corridor. He dropped a video yesterday on uh, YouTube. This is my nigga. So I'm gonna do a reaction to his video so we can understand what is going on with Tony Lawyer and you know what I'm saying, JD. You know what I'm saying? From uh, uh, Heresy Today Patroni. That's my nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause shit was all good just a week ago. You know <laughs> Shit was all good just a week ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, let's see what my nigga uh, posted. I know my nigga's gonna uh, explain this shit a little bit more. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about the whole beat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Tyco, we gotta do this shit, bro. We gotta talk about this shit, cause I'm on motherfucking day one here at Cedar Day Patrone's uh, supporter, bro. You know what I'm saying? These is my niggas, you feel me? Them niggas support me just like I support them all the fucking way. And I fuck with these niggas all the fucking way. You know what I'm saying? HP before anybody. I ain't gonna cap. Cause them niggas supported me before everything even fucking happened. But hey, hey, well, we gotta see what the fuck going on. My nigga Tony Lawyer, this nigga JD was his inspiration, his idol. You know what I'm saying? Damn, this shit crazy. I just gotta, let's just start this shit, bro. Shout out to my nigga Yayo TV. Go to this channel. I'm gonna leave the uh, link in the description right now, bro. Don't fuck with him, man. Let's see what this shit. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Hold on. As soon as it starts, JD say, y'all see, y'all see the shit. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all keep bringing up that little copy? Oh, be uh, to me like y'all don't know what's up. He said, why y'all niggas keep bringing up that copy like y'all niggas don't know what's up? My nigga JD on demon time. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I don't gotta say shit. He wanna be me so fucking bad. You can't tell in every, you can tell in every, bro. <laughs> you can tell in every way and aspect that this nigga, he's saying Tony is a complete fucking copy. Hey, that shit crazy as fuck, man. These niggas was just together. I'm mad as hell the way it went. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I ain't trying to stir up this shit. <laughs> but we gotta do the reaction, bro. Hold on. That's what JD said on the uh, story. Let's see what the, okay, say less. Oh, then Tony fucking said, okay, say less. Idols become rival. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let me see if I can go ahead and play this song, bro. Rick Ross. Hold on. Idols become rival. <laughs> oh, shit. That nigga said idols become rivals, bro. I might have to make that motherfucker the, uh, the instrumental. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Damn, he said it's this now. Hold on, he said it's this now, y'all. Hold on. Well known to flash money. Is the liquor starting for my big authority? Put the switch your bitch up, pick up me up. That nigga said I don't become rivals by Rick Ross. Hold on. My nigga, yeah, yo. I ain't dropping nothing first. I ain't dropping nothing first. You go first. What that nigga said, boy? You better stop, that nigga JD gonna send them hitters to your way. I know you know all the hitters, but still, them niggas are come for my nigga JD, you feel me? Man, this be for real. I thought they was fucking bullshitting, bro. That nigga said, you go first. Hey, the beef might be way better than the fucking video. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? This shit is that nigga the GOAT, bro. My nigga JD the GOAT. <laughs> 
That nigga said fuck the whole song, you feel me? I think they that might be the diss song time, bro. I don't know, man. Shout out to my nigga Yayo. Ah, uh, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Yayo. But y'all already knew that, and if you did it, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you're uh, notified every time I upload a new make sure my video. Shit. And let me know what you guys thought about the new intro that we're pretty hard on that. And as y'all can see, uh, where it might take a little bit to update, but I changed my name, I changed everything, I changed my banner, I changed my profile picture. You got to. Because this is no longer They Love Yayo, this is Yayo TV. I thought right. it was time for a change, and I did say that at 10k, I was going to change everything. And speaking of 10k, shout out to everyone for 10k subscribers. It's been a long time. Hey, don't support my nigga. It's good that you switched up everything. Bro, this is some real life shit. I remember when I was barely at a thousand. I was like, bro, I remember when you was barely at a thousand, nigga. You was hitting me up like, bro, how the? That shit crazy how shit work, bro. Now you just fucking blew the fuck up. You doing your thing. It's good to see my nigga like, uh, yeah, yo, doing your thing. Two thousand, you know. I just kept. But bro, I gotta skip it. The main focus of the video. You know what I'm saying? You get ten k. That all yeah. But today we're back with another. Come this is coming up because today you know a lot of music released. Um, first we got Los Hijos de Garcia's new album. I already know Los Hijos de Garcia, underrated artist from Rancho Humilde. The lineup went hard. I mean, the Grupo Tano de Minos finally dropping. Los Asociados de la A, featuring Tony Loya. That one's gonna be a banger. I've been waiting on that one since, oof, the longest. I know we all been waiting right. on that. I just did, so that's finally I just drop. did a reaction to that song. Y'all go check it out. I can't wait to hear that. But now let's get straight to what this video is gonna be about. So, as y'all can see, on um, my post yesterday, it was a little clip that JD posted on his story. It sounded like another part of No Confio, the song that he has yet to release. Oh, um, you know, the diss track. Um, I'm not too sure though, because it does sound like a different song, but at the same time, it doesn't, if that makes any sense. But if it is No Confio, I'm mean, getting crazy on it. Hey, hold on. I have to pause this shit. Battery about to die, but I'm going to jump straight into this bitch when I come back. All right, gang. We back on that messy shit. Let's see what my nigga. <laughs> Let's see what that nigga y'all was talking about, dog. Hold on, let's see, let's see what these niggas talk about. That song, we pretty much heard the whole song. If you put the two clips together, if it is another part of No Confio. And you know, it was pretty fitting that he released both of these, you know, little clips. Hey, that nigga JD know be knowing what he doing, bro. When it comes to, like, how he move. That's what I was thinking about, bro. What if Tony jumped the gun, bro? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I know I understand where he coming from, where he got to go where it's best for him. But nigga, you don't know where you could have been if you would have went that way. You know what I'm saying? You never know, bro. As you know, they were beefing with someone. The first clip he released it as he was beefing with Sebas. Or, you know, the whole HP clique I was beefing with Sebas pretty much. And this clip, he posted it the day that he's beefing with Tony Loya. And yes, I know there's a lot of you that already know this. But at the same time, there's a lot of people on YouTube that don't know about this. So that's why I'm here, here you know, pretty much making this video. So I don't really know how this whole thing started because I was out when all this happened or when it started. Bro, I don't know. Bro, the whole fucking beef came out of fucking nowhere, bro. Just yesterday, niggas was all together, da, da, da. One day, nigga, them niggas don't fuck with each other. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Niggas was as happy as hell. Everybody was happy, nigga. Tony with HP, bet, nigga, everybody happy. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, Tony, that, hey, niggas say he switch. <laughs> Tony, man. Tell me, what would it be, bro? You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't paying you right, nigga. They, they, look, bro. You feel me? I feel like it's too, it's too, like, sizeful. It's just like, they ain't doing something right or Tony, like, rushing that shit. You feel me? I think it's, like, one of those. It's either one of those, though. You know what I'm saying? Started to happen. I was out. I checked my DMs. A gang little DMs. Uh, sent a post, sent a post. Uh, Tony versus JD, Tony versus JD, whatever. So, you know, I was checking. Uh -huh. and I think the first post was when someone asked uh, Tony the question. Someone pretty much said, have you ever heard of the saying, never meet your idols? And I personally have heard that saying, and it is pretty Damn. deep because it's like, like so Damn, hey, that is right, bro. I have heard that saying, bro, because once you meet them, you find out that the person that they, you know what I'm saying, really are, ain't them, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I met JD, you know what I'm saying? He seemed like a cool ass. I met the whole HP, bro. You know what I'm saying? One time, I ain't like kicking with him, hanging with him all the time, but they seem like some cool ass niggas. And if they is like that, I'm used to it. You know what I'm saying? If they, they from, bro, they from the hood, bro. If you used to niggas that's from the hood, bro, you used to how niggas act, bro. You gonna, niggas, some niggas gonna throw you shade, some niggas gonna throw you love. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta know how to maneuver. You can't be like scared and be like, no, nah, nigga, I'm, I'm over here now. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like you gotta adapt to your environment, especially that environment, bro. Cause that was a good ass environment where you could have benefit off of, you know what I'm saying, them, and they could have benefit off of you at the same time. You know what I'm saying? People don't look at it like that. I know HP. They up there, but still, nigga, 
HP with Tony, Tony Lawyer, nigga, that bitch would have been like crazy. I know it ain't gonna fucking happen no more, but shit, nigga, you know what I'm mean? saying? Pretty much you never meet your idols because, you know, since you idolize them, you get this certain understanding of them, you get this. Hey, I'm Taylor, and this is Ruffus, and I'm hey. going to show you how to start an online hey, business. Hey, I'm going to watch your, your, your ad, First, bro. go to shopify.com and start a free trial. I'm going to watch this bit. Next, create your t-shirt. You can use I'm your own designs or a hybrid right. designer. Once you have a design you love, add it's it to a t-shirt. It's been long, damn, damn, damn. Now launch your store and start hey, selling. I'm going to come back, bro. You know, I'm going to come back, bro. Come back. You expect them to be this way, but then once you meet them, they don't live up to your expectations and then you're left disappointed. So basically when he saw this question, he replied to it and he said, you know, I've never heard of that, but now I see why it's the same. And then he went as far as actually posting it. You know, it wasn't just on his story, it was on his feed. And then I think before this, he posted a clip where he was done writing a song. Um, and it does sound kind of like a little diss track, I'm not too sure. to be a whole bunch of fucking diss songs, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this is perfect for me, nigga. We gonna do all the reactions, nigga, you know what I'm saying? And when we do them reactions, I'm gonna make sure I know exactly what them niggas is talking about, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I gotta know, bro. Tony posted more of the song on his YouTube. I got all the screenshots right here. But then after that, I think it was on the post um, that I was talking about with the question. JD pretty much commented wannabe with the laughing face. Oh! Uh, oh, I ain't see that. My nigga JD was on Demon Time. That nigga commented wanna be damn. You know what I'm saying? It at the same time, bro, it's like a, a good look and a bad look. Cause you know what I'm saying? They're like, damn, he a wanna be, but you know what I'm saying? They like they probably like JD was just fucking with him, da 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 how you wanna you know what I'm saying? When but at the same time, that's probably why Tony left. My nigga JD like nigga ain't about hey I'm just being like a real ass nigga. I'm main letting it see from different point of views. I ain't no no side, bro. I wish the best for both people, bro. Tony and HP. You know what I'm saying? But I when it come down to it, HP, them my niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, what if that nigga Tony was like, damn, I probably ain't gonna get over JD. You ain't gonna get over JD, bro. Cause that nigga just fucking goaded. You know what I'm saying? So JD probably like, man, I ain't about to let this nigga get over me, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, some people be like that. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't want to see, but at the same time, I can't see that just because that nigga JD just did a whole fucking album with the whole HP. If Tony would have just chilled, he probably would have been on the album. Tony would have got more popular, and when he was able to get money, he would have got the most money out of it. Just instead of just little shit from it. You know what I'm saying? It's like you gotta grow up and you gotta just you gotta chill for a second. You can't just be hopping. You know what I'm saying? You gotta learn why you there. A couple months, a couple weeks, you can't really learn much from that. It takes like a whole year to learn something and master it. You feel me? So hey, I'm just saying and then, bro. Um JD posted something and I'm gonna throw it up right here. I don't really have to say nothing. Yeah I just read that he I just read much, that I mean shit I mean he pretty much threw all the shade he can pretty much Damn. saying that Tony's a Straight up copy of him. He finally said yeah. it. Um, I'm pretty sure he was holding that back for a cool ass minute. Hey, that nigga was. Hey, <laughs> everybody was saying it already, but <laughs> he finally said it. Like nigga, you a copy? Damn. You know what I'm saying? Your idol just told you, nigga, you ain't gonna be shit. Damn near. You know you just get caught. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, damn. Fuck. And I mean, shit. That was pretty much it. Oh, uh, and also Tony, he posted this right here. I ain't dropping nothing first. I ain't dropping up the first. You go first. You go pa. So that's pretty much just saying they're gonna have a straight up diss battle. Man. That is if JD decides to go Ooh. first because Tony said he's not gonna go first. Um, but then after that, that's when JD posted the clip that I posted yesterday, which I'm gonna throw it in right here just for the fuck of it. And if you wanna skip, just in case you already saw it, go ahead. <laughs> Hey, you know, he, he talking with a point, you know, I don't know what he's saying, please let me know in the comments what he's saying on this clip right here, bro, at, I don't know what, at, point of the mute, just let me know what he's saying right here. Ooh. 
So like I think a freestyle in that bitch. Ah, he went from a uh, song to acapella. He started. Nigga, I'm gonna say this shit. You feel me? Yeah, they got a point. Hey, Tony, he coming for your ass, boy. I don't know who's gonna drop the first disc, but Tony, I still do it. You know what I'm saying? Because he probably ain't doing it because it wasn't that big of a problem. He probably just left like, nigga, y'all ain't doing shit, y'all ain't getting no money. But still, nigga, that's you no. Know. Like I said earlier in this video, that does sound like another piece of no confio. Maybe he's just gonna be throwing shots to everyone on that song. I don't know. Damn. So yeah, that's pretty much that. So what do I think about it? I don't really know. This shit is crazy. I mean, this is something that we never really expected to happen. Tony going at it with JD. Obviously, right. they were cool when Tony was in that whole HP Records ordeal. Uh, but now, shit is pretty crazy. crazy. And there is some juicy info about how Tony got into Montana Records. But that's just something y'all are going to have to wait on when they finally upload Richie's interview with Tony Loya. I am pretty hyped to see that. I haven't seen none of that. I heard there was some juicy ass info on there, so I can't wait to see that shit. And then you guys are obviously gonna get a better understanding of Tony and his decisions. I hope so. Hey, my nigga Yayo, I need you to start. For people that's not like speaking English and that don't understand Spanish, I need you to explain like some of the shit he's saying and you know what I'm saying on these lives, bro, because I don't be knowing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna care. But I do think this is some unnecessary ass beef, but it is good content for me, so right, I Right, right, right. I do feel like it's very unnecessary. I feel like it was probably some petty shit that happened. But like I said, me personally, I feel like Tony, I, I feel like he wasn't there long enough to actually learn from that nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? You you had to sit back. Once you around that, bro, sometimes even when you an idol, bro, you got to sit back and learn from somebody that's higher than you. You know what I'm saying? I know you all about the money, all about the money, but that shit going to come, bro, regardless. Just off of who you are. You feel me? So, you switch, you know what I'm saying? You switching so much makes you look back to the industry. I know you all... Like, nigga, I'm solo, I'm dolo, and that's cool, bro. You can be like that. Look at, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers that went solo and shit. But at a time, you know what I'm saying, where you could have just made it all good and you would have had more fans from both ends. Now you got his fans saying fuck Tony Lawyer, then you got Tony Lawyer saying fuck HP. It's like a whole bunch of bullshit that's unnecessary, you feel me, where you could have just elevated it a different way, bro. Complaining, but I think that was pretty much it for this video. I wasn't really going to upload today, obviously, because it's Thanksgiving. I was probably going to upload tomorrow or maybe right. Saturday, I don't know. Or probably until Monday because y'all already know I mainly upload Mondays and Wednesdays. But once again, as far as this whole JD, Tony Loya beef goes, pretty much Tony Loya, he started it off by saying, you know, something about his idols, never meet your idols. And then JD commented that it's better to sell us beef though, I'll tell you that much. But I did say in my last video, not the clip, clip of JD, the one before that, I did say that I might do a part two of that video. I'm still not too sure. I might do that once the interview with Tony Loya and Richie, once that releases. Um, because there's gonna be some juicy info on there, oh. and I could use that for a video. Damn. There might be a part two to this one also when the oh, diss tracks fuck. release. If they ever release diss tracks, or shit, you never know, maybe they'll just clear the air the same way Sewas did with right. HP. Maybe Tony will do that with HP, you know, they'll be back in good terms. So that was pretty much it for this video. I'm talking way too damn long. I was trying to get this video up to eight minutes. Right, bro, you know what I'm saying? That shit crazy as fuck, man. Like I said, this whole beef to me, bro, I feel like it, it's, it's pointless. You know what I'm saying? Where it could have been way fucking better. You know what I'm saying? But shit, it is what it is, man. Tony said what it is. Hey, and I just saw something that Tony said on the gram. He said, it's easy to, it's easy when niggas take a song and rewrite it. You know what I'm saying? Put it in. So pretty much Tony saying that HP and all them niggas take songs that's already wrote and rewrite it in their own language. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's T, but it ain't that much of a T. You know what I'm saying? That's what the industry is about. If you think about all the motherfucking songs and all the hip hop songs, they take something from an old song and put it a spin on it. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what they doing. So that's not really a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? So what they doing is smart. You feel me? Which Tony is learning from these niggas. Yeah, if anybody can do it, nigga, you, you should be doing it too. Nigga, if that's the word of money, that's what you should, you know what I'm saying? And Tony keeps saying it ain't about the money, it ain't about the money, but it's clearly about the fucking money because if you was okay, over there making some money and you was good, bro, even though you weren't making as much money back there, because that's your shit, bro, that's your name, you know what I'm saying? But the, the object, the, the the shit, the <laughs> my bad, the focus was to go to somewhere else, another state, and get those fans too, and go to another state and get those fans too, and now you got fans and fans fighting each other over some bullshit, you know what I'm saying, over because you, you wanted a little bit more money or them niggas wasn't getting on you, you know what I'm saying, fast enough. No, nigga, they had a whole plan before you even came. Then they had to fit you in the plan. You gotta think about that. 
That shit take time, bro, but like I said, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what y'all think, bro. The whole Tony Lawyer and JD Ho B, bro. You already know, nigga. I'm HP 100, but hey, I ain't got no bad blood with uh, nobody, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to react, nigga. At the end of the day, it's me. You feel me? But shout out to Tony, man. I still fuck with him. I ain't got no bad blood. He ain't fall out with me. So shout out to that nigga. Shout out to uh, JD. I hope everything, everybody gets squashed. If not, fuck it, nigga. The content about to be sweet as hell. Reactions about to be crazy. And we're going to get to the bottom of this shit, man. You already know what time it is. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Let me know in the comments what y'all want me to react to. I'm sure it's about to be a part two to this. Hey, y'all, yo, shout out to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I I'm going to do more little reaction, my nigga. Because it be putting me up on game of what's going on if you don't speak Spanish. You feel me? So, I fuck with my nigga. Hey, you know we goaded out here, nigga. All, this, you, all, the, all the YouTubers out here goaded, nigga. Fuck all that shit, nigga. I, huh. You feel me? This your boy Tiger Reacts. I'm gonna see y'all next video. Let's like, get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? This shit crazy. Sounds like one of your packs, bro. Be about your paper, man. Fetty Skrilla Scratch, man. Be about your paper, don't you?